Hi friends, welcome to Tutorial Edits. In this video, you are going to learn how to create a custom theme in Drupal 9. As you know, there are a lot of free themes available in Drupal where you can download, install, and use the theme. Apart from that, if you want to purchase, then there are a lot of themes also available where you can pay the money and you can download and install and you can use the theme. But in spite of all these things, sometimes there is cases when developers need to develop their custom, their own theme. So as a developer myself, as a Drupal developer, uh, I would like to show you that how you can create a custom theme uh, in Drupal 9. So let's first start with practical jump. I've already installed Drupal 9. So I assume that you know how to install Drupal. It's easy. So here we are going to create a custom theme. So let me start them first. Zem, Zem control panel. I'm using my SQL here. So rather than using this my SQL, I'm using different. So this is my MySQL. So now let's start Drupal. Local host and then Drupal 9. Okay, so this is in the last video I have shown you how you can create Hello World module. Okay, so this is the one. In this video, we will be creating our own or custom theme. Okay, so let's go here, htdocs, and then this is my folder, Drupal 9, and then uh, themes. Inside this, this, we will create a new theme. Let's create, a, let's create a folder of the theme, the theme name. So in my case, I'm going to write here, tutorial race. The theme name will be tutorial race, and in this, in this directory, in this folder, we will create file. Let's open sublime text or whatever editor you prefer. In my case, I'm going to use this sublime text. So let's open here. And then first file that we need to create here is uh, module uh, themes, themes and tutorial race. So here tutorial race dot info.yml so this is information file so here and apart from this we will also create js and css folder so images js js and css and CSS okay so we have created here three folder and apart from this tutorial info.yml we will create one more file called libraries so let's create another file and here we will write tutorial race tutorial race dot libraries libraries dot yml So these are the folder structure. Now let's open this info file and then inside this we will write and to enable to debug and disabling the tweak cache we will have to create here uh, a services.yml file okay so this will be inside size and default and services so let's go to the folder here and uh, tuple 9 sites default and then site default and uh, site default services.yml here we will create a, a file called services.yml services.yml and inside this we will write the code here parameters then tweak dot config dot 
config and then debug true debug true and then cache false caching will be false and then auto reload true so that's in this file so let's close this now let's start this yml file read this this is library let's close this one for the timing okay so this is tutorial rage.info.naml so here will be the theme name will be a uh, tutorial race and then description this is demo theme for learning and here type theme and then base theme false and core version requirement Drupal 8, 9, 10. So this will be compatible with Drupal 9, Drupal 8, Drupal 9, and Drupal 10. And then version that means the version theme name so 1.0 and then libraries library libraries here so here tutorial race remember this is our folder name okay tutorial race uh, then global global style link now regions regions so these, these will be the regions whatever regions we want to keep we can provide here the region for example header then header content like here menu so menu then content content then sidebar sidebar and uh, footer footer and finally we will go to libraries file so read that libraries let's go here and open here Drupal 9 and then themes there the is and this library is file so let's open this file libraries ml it's double l that's why getting problem it should be single l now it's open here okay if you check here we have written there global styling right so the same folder you will write here global styling and then css and js so first will be css here then uh, css then theme theme and then inside theme css folder name and then style dot css and call on here so it will be like this and for print one you can write same here css and then print one. and then js file so it will be parallel to this css so here we will write js and then so that's it and we can write one more thing dependencies jquery core that means the default jquery it will depend upon uh, default jquery 
okay, now let's go to uh, configuration and let's delete cache so performance then clear cache okay it's successfully cleared and then let's go to appearance and check if our theme exists or not so this is party default theme this is another theme and yes successfully we have created the theme so currently we don't have any screenshot neither css nor js but at, at least you can see that our theme is now enabled and we can see it is registered with our uh, this drupal 9 and you can see this is successfully registered now let's create one directory called templates templates inside this let's create one folder or simply we can just create a file called page.html.twig so let's go here and let's create one file inside this template the file name will be page html dot three and here in inside this uh, let's call here page dot header region okay just i'm putting one region and later one by one we will design this now let's once again clear the cache from here performance then cache and then let's go to appearance and here let's install this theme install and set as default okay the theme is installed successfully now let's check in the front side this is the theme let's open here so this is what it is looking like let's do one thing refresh it here and you can see there is no styling nothing here just go here and inside appearance check that theme this one uh, let's go to structure and then block layout so this is our here block layout this is our place block which block you want to place here uh, tab search terms page title okay save block and then this is insert header it is displaying display the structure so this is only header that is why it is displaying one block in our theme currently here in theme we have just header put header that is why for example if we, we will put here content and then footer 3 so it will display you there say content and footer then it should display there three but before that once again there's one problem you need to clear the cache only then it will display other one so performance let's keep open this cache at one side now if you click on this demonstrate block regions then you can see there are three region city displaying here so if we check this here yes welcome to drupal this is showing in the header and this is showing in the content area 
and if you want to put something in footer area as well so this is our footer area in footer we, we may put here custom block we don't have any custom block so it's like branding powered by message breadcrumb tools okay who is new let's put it but no we don't have much user so it won't work let's put something different help user login recent comment recent content we don't have any content so main navigation tools user breadcrumbs main content message site branding let's do one thing let's create one block custom block okay here let's click here custom block library then add block add custom block this is for footer this will show in footer save it okay now once again get back here block layout then footer so this is for footer click here save it then save blocks now let's go back here refresh it yes this is for footer you can see so guys as you can see it is displaying the content right so what we need to do we do we need to do styling so let's do the styling as well okay so let's do one thing first let's create here um, div okay so let's create here div mm. div so let's say call it okay we have created here header content and footer three ids now let's go to let's create a file called style.css which we will keep here in this css folder the file name is style.css so here uh, will be header then width 100 percent height uh, 100 px background yellow let's let's clear the cache okay cache is cleared now let's refresh and check okay there is something wrong so the code is not coming here where this height is background is and this is css file where we have described this style.css css folder okay here in info file tutorial race.info.yml uh, we need to put here one hyphen and then space and then let's go here and clear the cache And yes the CSS now is loading here so this way you can customize your theme with your own CSS so that's it in this video and I hope you like this video in the next video I will create complete theme like a professional theme okay with all the elements like you know images header footer sidebar and all that so for the timing in this video that's it so stay connected and please check my next video thanks for watching bye bye